Hey guys, today I wanted to do something a little bit different and I know that lately it's been a lot of reviews and things like that and I, I just miss doing makeup sometimes. I've had this really big inspiration in me for the last few days that I just wanna do like a fully pink makeup look. I'm talking like crazy pink cheeks, pink on my nose, freckles. I wanna do like an incredible eye look. I just wanna go like full on fucking pink. And I don't really know why, I just want to. Sometimes it's fun to just play with makeup. A lot of the times it's using makeup for like reviews and things like that, but today I just want to take it back to fun. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and follow me everywhere if you haven't done that too. And let's do makeup. Oh, my straw is pink. So it's not necessarily a tutorial. I guess this could be considered a tutorial, but I'm just kind of screwing around as I go along. And so I'm priming my eyes with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Light 16. Man, ever since I started doing my eyes first, everything's just been so much better with my makeup. I know that it seems counterintuitive for some, well, for a lot of people. Cause that's one of a big question that I get. Like, why would you do your eyes first? I just find that my makeup at the end tends to look a lot cleaner and I find that it just, I don't know, it just is easier for me to do my eyes. I can be as messy as I possibly want. There can be as much fallout on my cheeks as I want. And then I just go in and perfect everything at the end with my foundation and concealer. For eyeshadows today, I brought up this. this is, these are the new Makeup Geek Power Pigments. I put some other Makeup Geek shades in here as well the other day, but these are the new Makeup Geek Power Pigments and I wanted to try those again. And then I was thinking pink, pink, what palette did come to mind? And then I thought of the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered palette because this shade's Pink. You've got these guys here and this one. Um, I also have just some random makeup items up here So I'm just gonna play and this week is definitely gonna be more chit chat get ready with me's Like tutorials and things like that because these are much quicker for me to film because I am so excited to say <laughs> I can't even believe I'm gonna say this. We got a call from our contractor yesterday And he said that he is starting the remodel tomorrow, which is Monday. I'm going in with starting with doll face here. I forgot that we were in the end of June because, okay, so he told me in the beginning, he was like, yeah, we're gonna start um, remodeling at the very end of June. And I was like, okay, sweet. And then time just went on. And the whole time everyone's like, when does the remodel start? And I'm like, two weeks, two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. So I've been saying two weeks up until yesterday. Then he's like, okay, we're starting Monday. And I'm like, it's not the end of June. I look at my thing and I'm like, holy shit, it's the end of June. This look is, gonna be probably one of the least wearable looks you've ever seen, which I'm excited about. I used to do fun looks. When I started off my Instagram, my Instagram was all about doing fun looks and avant-garde and I wouldn't ever film any of them. It would just be for fun to sit down and do makeup. And so much has changed since then. I, I'd never do that anymore. If I'm gonna put makeup on, I'm gonna film it because it only makes sense. I could get a YouTube video out of it. I can talk to you guys and it just makes the most sense to film it. And so I want to film those things because I feel like I would like to watch people just like create their really pretty Instagram avant-garde looks and let me know if you guys would ever be interested in how I edit my photos because I think that would be kind of cool. I, I do have people ask sometimes, but it's not like the majority of you asking. I don't really know how I would go about that video, but, and I'm not a professional editor by any means. I've learned Photoshop completely on my own over the last few years. I've never taken any classes. I've never had anyone help me with Photoshop. The only people I've ever had help me have been like Google tutorials on like how to use the clone stamp tool and you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know, maybe show you guys how I do it and how I was able to teach myself and maybe I'm doing it completely wrong and you guys can help me. Okay, I'm gonna go with this shade here, which is Risqué. This is the Makeup Addiction Precise Blender Brush. It's so weird when you watch a review on an eyeshadow palette or a product and it's something that you've known and loved and never had any issues with and then you see people being like, this is patchy, this doesn't blend out and you're like, are we using the same damn thing? I feel like I've seen some negative reviews on this and I'm like, where's the lie though? Like, it's it's beautiful, I don't know. It's always so weird It's how we can have such different experiences with products like Sam loves subculture. Bitch! That's the worst palette I've ever used. I guess it just goes to show everyone likes different qualities in their eyeshadows. And I don't know though, I've never struggled with a Huda Beauty shadow before. I'm gonna take Unleashed from Makeup Geek, which is this shade here. I'm just gonna pat over the edges a little bit. Pat, swirl, whatever. And I'm going to take some concealer and I'm going to 
cut the crease. I wanna try a different crease technique. I've seen this done places. I think the last time I saw it done was by Rocio. It's almost like a little teardrop. I don't know if Rocio was the one who came up with this idea or not. I feel like I've seen it around beforehand. She's the one I saw do it recently and it looks so neat. Like using the tip of your brush to your advantage by like pressing it, cause you see how it's like got a rounded tip and pressing it on so that it's creating that rounded tip. So you're not having to like draw out the shape, you're just using what you've already got. I'm just kind of cleaning up the area underneath it so it's a clear distinction. Cause I was planning on doing a halo eye, but like I think we've seen enough halo eyes for a lifetime from me. This one has a bit of a blue shift to it, but I think this might look really cool. This is Makeup Addiction Skylight. I'm trying to use my makeup now. Like since we did the declutter, I'm trying to go through and use the stuff that I kept that I felt like was worthy of having in my collection. Oh wow, God, this is so stunning, look at that. This is gonna be so beautiful. And I'm trying to like go through and use the makeup because I have it and I don't want it to just sit there unused. And so that's why I'm like, I gotta start doing more tutorials. Like this is nuts. <gasps> oh my. This is stunning. Wow, look at that color. I can tell you it is a hundred times more beautiful in person. Like look at this right here. Wow, that is too beautiful. So I think I need to deepen up outer portion of my eyes just a bit. So for that, I think I'm gonna go into this Makeup Geek palette again, and I'm gonna take a bit of this purple shade here, Courageous. Ooh, that was a good choice. That is fun. Okay, so I think I'm just going to toss a pair of lashes on because I want to move on to the rest of the face, which is going to be even more than the eyes. I'm going to like bring pink all the way down my cheeks right here. BRB, I'm going to throw some lashes on and then we are going to move on to the rest of the face. All right, so I've got my foundation on. I put that on when I was off camera because it's just literally the same steps that I always do. So what I think I'm going to do is go in with blush and I might mix a blush in with that same power pigment from Makeup Geek so that the colors just kind of blend in together. You can stop here and do your bronzer and all that stuff if you want this to be a wearable look. Uh, I don't. So I'm gonna go in with this Tarte blush right here, exhilarating. And I think I'm gonna start off with that and I'm just going to start placing it on the outer portion. I want this whole face to be like blown out. I used the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation and the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Wow, it's really hard for me to say that. And this is the Smith 112 brush. So I got these palettes in the mail. These are from the company Stilazzi. I think that's how you pronounce it. And there is the Bahamas blush palette and the Barbados blush palette. And I'm gonna show you. So this is Bahamas. This one's best suited, I would say, for like a lighter skin tone. If you have in that medium deep range, wow, look at this. Stunning. And I'm actually gonna use this color today, which is Sizzle. I feel like the Tarte one definitely is softer and blends a little better. This one is really pigmented, which again, this is best suited for a deeper skin tone. So 
that would be really nice actually. I'll fix this area here so it's not so patchy. These are so pigmented. This is the same brush that I applied my Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation with, and I'm just sort of patting over the edges to take away any blotchy spots. I think now I'm gonna go in with Private Island from this same palette. What a pretty blush palette. So I'm gonna stop there just for a minute. I'm gonna use some really fun highlighters in a minute. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish off my under eye. Sorry about the lawnmower noise. My neighbor decided to mow his lawn right when I started filming, so. These are the same colors from the Huda Beauty palette. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna take this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and I'm going to line my waterline so that it's nice and bright and then I'm gonna put on some mascara and maybe bottom lashes, I don't know. I feel like I wanna do a lower lash. <laughs> So if you've ever done individual lashes before, what I do is I take a little dot of glue. You literally just take the little lash and dot it in the glue. And then you just place the lash where you want it. I used to do uh, client makeup work all the time and I would use individual lashes on clients a lot, specifically brides who didn't want to have to like screw with a lash falling off. Individual lashes are just so much easier for brides I feel in a lot of situations. They take longer to apply but they're just all around, I feel like sometimes a better option because you really can't feel them and your lash corner can't flip up because there is no lash corner. These are the Ardell Not Free Lashes, K-N-O-T. I always feel like immediately bottom lashes make me look like, not, well, not make me look like, but make me feel like I look like Twiggy. They just give you that like doe-eyed look. And now what I'm gonna do is my most exciting part. So I got these highlighters from Fenty and this is the first one. This is the Kilowatt Foil in Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset. I don't know if I'm gonna use this one, but maybe I will. This is the Kilowatt Foil in Sand Castle and Minted Mojito. And oh, and then in person, this one is literally the most stunning thing I've ever seen. Then I got this one, which is Seven Day Weekend and Poolside. And then I also received this palette from BH Cosmetics. This is the Nine Color Duo Light Highlight Palette. I already swatched all of these yesterday. And honestly, I'm just gonna like go Hard as a motherfucker. This is the Sigma High Cheekbone Highlighter Brush. And I think I'm gonna start off with this shade here in the BH palette, which is Double Whammy. That is a double whammy. Oh my, wow. I'm just gonna keep that in the areas where it's like really pink. That is freaking bright, holy shit. I did not picture it being that. Like, I didn't picture it being like that. My God. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go back in with that blush brush and I'm gonna put this BH palette down for a second and I'm gonna go over that with my blush brush just to not, I don't necessarily wanna tone it down, but I, but I wanna tone it down. Cause now I really wanna use the Fenty and I wanna, I wanna go in with this shade here. This is so pretty. This is the Sangria Sunset. Well now I guess I just might as well go in with this one cause that's so beautiful.
So I think I'm gonna go in with this shade here, which is Top Notch from the BH palette. Okay. I wanna do some blush on my nose, I think. Like, honestly, I'm just gonna go full and full in with this. Now I feel like a little pixie. All right, now I'm gonna take some of that Top Notch shade again, which is that center guy. Highlight my nose. So Makeup Forever sent over these artist color pencils and they sent it over in this little custom case which I thought was so cute, look at this. And all of these are like real colored pencils but they're multi-use for the face. So they look like a real colored pencil but you can see they're rainbow colored. They come in like every color except for yellow which I was a little like, oh come on. They are so neat and they're multi-use. You can use them as lip liners, eyeliners, freckles. You can use them for anything. So today I'm gonna go in with the shade Multi Pink, which is this one here. And even though they're pink, I'm still patting them in because I don't want them to just look like speckles all over my face. I want them to almost look as if I actually have real pink freckles, which I know that that's kind of silly, but. Okay, I think that is enough little freckles. They're just enough that I think they look cute. And then I'm going to take this, which is the Talking Points lip liner, and I'm going to apply it to my lips. Then I brought up this MAC Dazzle Glass. I was like, bitch, look at that shit. Look at that. That is Dazzle Glass-ish. Oh, it is a different applicator than I envisioned. Oh, wow. I don't like this applicator. <laughs> it's like a little mini brush. This is the shade Like Venus. What a cool shade. That is a cool lip. It is so juicy, like, So I'm gonna go do my hair and I will be right back. And this is the finished look. like this video I know this is a completely different change of pace from what I've been doing recently but sometimes it's just fun to be creative and try out the makeup that I get that I'm like where am I ever gonna use that like this duo chrome nine color palette that I just got from BH and these Fenty highlighters those are all products that I've wanted to try and that are so beautiful but I'm like where am I gonna use a blue highlighter where am I gonna use a duo chrome pink highlighter well we found out today and I really like this look. I think it's so fun and I can't wait to take like artsy pictures of this. Editing photos has become like my favorite thing to do. Editing is as much an art form as the makeup for crying out loud. Like it's such a fun thing and to see what the photo was and then what you can make it be. And you're not adding makeup or changing anything really. You're just enhancing what's already there. Oh my God, it's like my favorite thing. So I can't wait to take photos and edit this. Make sure to follow me on Instagram if you guys want to see the finished whole thing of all of this edited down. My Instagram is RawBeautyChristy, same as here. If you guys wanna see this full entire look that's like all like glam and shit like that, make sure to follow. And I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like this video. If you do like videos like these or where I follow your guys' makeup tutorials, please let me know. I wanna do another one of those where I follow one of my followers' makeup looks because honestly, that was one of my favorite videos I've ever filmed to date. It was so fun. I feel like the whole thing turned out so good. And I just like the whole vibe of it, like being able to show off your guys' talents and also sometimes do things that aren't just like regular makeup looks. Like this is so fun and it's inspiring for me. So I hope you guys enjoy it. and. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Again, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you at my next video. Bye! 
For eyeshadow palettes today, I have my Makeup Geek full, no, now, what do I want to do? Found you. Pigment, as you can see, he, drive away truck, bitch. Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation and the Tarte, or what? I use the Hourglass Vanish, Hourglass? Hmm. Quit mowing your lawn, it's short enough. We take an old pair of lashes. No, no. Oh my God, the amount of fucking cars outside and the amount of lawnmowers, I swear to God, I will kill everyone. I will murder the world. Got it in the glue. I thought this was a mirror. Okay, so that is my bottom face done. My bottom face. She's, she's a bottom face, all right. Then I got this one, which is seven day weekend, okay. I'll use this guy. This is the Sigma. The joys of working for home are having your neighbors not know that and be outside doing shit like mowing the lawn all day, every day. Okay, so I think I'm gonna... I hate you, motherfucker. Fucking neighbor. I was fine with him until I saw him the other day be mean to his dog. He kicked at it and yelled at it in front of me, and I was like, mm, truck guy, you went from being fucking annoying to my worst enemy, <laughs> so watch out. His dog wasn't even doing anything either. His dog was being like a precious angel, like all dogs are. He was being so mean, I was like, oh, you fucker, if you kick that dog, I will call the police on you. And I thank you guys 